guys and welcome back to repair and resale in today's video we're gonna see how to open the ps1 controller and the ps2 controller uh, basically i wasn't sure if i would be doing this video or not because this can be pretty easy but if you never do it before it might be good for you to have a tutorial before we go into some repair and if you are wondering why there are some paper right there it, right there it's basically some personal note on what or the problem with each of these controller but today we're only gonna uh, check how to open them so first of all you need a philip head screwdriver to remove all the screw at the back of the controller you can see there is six of them uh, uh even seven of them right here on the ps11 and there is also six of them on this one there is one hidden right there on the uh ps21 so i'm gonna just sit back for uh, on my side i'm just gonna sit back and i'm gonna watch uh, these uh, controller getting open so here we go So all the screws have been removed and are, north, are, are, and are now secure in a nice container. Now all you have to do to open your dual shock is to lift this up. You can do it gently. These, these one are a bit dirty, but I can lift this up just like that. So here we go for this side of the controller. And now we're going to take a look at the other side just like this and I'm gonna give you a closer look in case you mess something up as you can see everything is nicely in place and there is a broken bit just like here okay so this is not really something that will affect the working of this controller but there is also a screw right there you will need to remove it in order to access to the rest of your controller just like this another screw it's the same as the other one so I'm putting it there and then you can access the rest of your controller you just untangle the wire right here and it should be able to take it off I might have forget some screws gonna double check doesn't seem like it nope it's coming off so I'm just gonna pull all of it nicely just like this we could also remove the analog motors like that and like that and now the controller is out this is the other part of it so you can remove these one also if you want to clean it a bit better same thing for your buttons Just like that, you hold the other buttons you would like, you might need to want to clean. This one really need a good cleanup, but I will do that in another video. So here we go. Just gonna drop that there. I'm just gonna replace the buttons because I'm gonna put this part aside. Just like that. And this thing right here goes like that. And I might have, yep, this one right here. That goes there. Oops, sorry, the other side. 
the black part must always be facing there and here you can see in the inner of the PS1 controller so if you need to fix some stuff uh, you might need to mess around with all of these so now I'm gonna put this back inside uh, the proper way it is intended to so I will just try not to mess every anything up so this is going but when I miss eight thumbsticks, I will put it back on. Okay, so here is take two. Now we're gonna try another way to put it back. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the thumbstick over like that to avoid them falling. And it fail fall either way. And I will just be putting it like this. <laughs> Just like that, and put this in place, and thumbstick is there, so it should be good. The wire should also be good. So I'm gonna put the rumble motor back in place. Just in a slot. Just like this, same thing for this other one. Then this one was meant to be over there, sorry. We'll just put it back in its place correctly. Just like that. So, if it's the first time you're doing this, you might have some trouble, just like I'm doing. And you can do it like this. This is actually the little light at the top of it. So, I will be putting it back. Just so. Uh, Flipping it this over. Sorry. So here is the little light. If this fall off, this is going right there. I don't know if I'm putting it on the good side. I think yes. And now I'm just messing up with the joysticks. Because it is really small. So I'm gonna try again. Just like that. Yeah, the joystick is in place correctly. I'm gonna put this back in. Just like that. And this needs to wrap around as we s saw it before. This is basically to avoid that if you pull on, on the wire really strong, that you rip all the wa the other smaller wire off so it need to go around right there so now that this everything is back in place I'm gonna screw this back as soon as I can to avoid some other thing happening here we go this one should be good now we're gonna put back the other part of the controller in So as you can see on the, oops, sorry, this is some other thing. So um, as you can see here, we need to get these two parts of the controller right in these all. So this is what we're going to do. 
kind of put the wire out of the way. We could also try to replace these two before. So these must be sliding in just like that. As you can see, these are now slide in. It's more stable. And now we can just flip this one on it. Just like that. And we can close everything. And it's ready to be screwed back. And one of the screws won't be working really fine because this part is uh, broken. But it will still be uh, screwing back fine. So I'm going to do this right now. Now that this is done, we're going to take a look at uh, the other one. So same principle. We're pulling this off. It's a really similar conception. The button here are a bit different, as you can see. They don't have absolutely the same way of uh, holding in place. I'm gonna put this aside. And here we go for the inner of the controller. You can see that there is a conductive film right here and that the structure is a bit different. I'm trying to look for a screw and I'm not saying anyone. So I assume that we can just lift this all up. Yep, and we can untangle the wire. And if we lift all of these this up, it should come straight away, just like that. So here is the dual shock. Two. And as you can see, they start to put the inner frame in and they start to go with these uh, conductive film that you can also find in the DualShock 4. And that might be the reason for some of the fold that we saw while we were testing the controllers. So here we go for this one. And same thing for this side of the, the controller. We have some pads and the buttons are underneath. As you already see it, I will not uh, remove them because it's the same thing. So a uh, button just dropped off. I will make sure to put it back the right way and we will be ready to assemble it back again. So I just dropped that there for a second and I'm gonna put back the button on this one. Just like that, as simple as that. And as you can see, there is also some color just to make sure that you don't uh, swap these over. So another little end, if you're wondering where all those things are going. So we're gonna put this back in and this will conclude the video. So just like that, we're gonna put that in. It's not okay. So the wire is attached to the board. Okay, so they were putting that in really tight. Just give me a moment, I'm gonna watch back the footage just to make sure that I'm putting that in correctly. So if I make the mistake, it's okay, but. You, at least you will know what it is. So I saw the mistake I was doing. Basically this wire is going above and then it's going below. So it shouldn't be that hard to put it back. It's basically going right this way. So this is why I was struggling a bit. I wasn't putting the wire the right way. And I need to watch back what I did before to make sure everything was right. Then you put this back on. And this is going to go right over it. Right there. 
and this little pad right here we'll put enough pressure on this so it can register the button correctly now that this is done we will be able to put this back on where it was going like the last time it's a bit easier this is well in place and this is good this is good this should also be good so we should be okay so I get it just like that so by holding the two like trigger back you can actually manage to secure this in place now I'm gonna put uh, back the screw right now before it's opened back up so this is how we open the DualShock 1 or the DualShock 2 I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it will be helpful for you and have a nice day